Is this particular show a must watch? Um, the correct answer. In the 2023 Japanese romance drama, The Date of Marriage, Kawaii Yoshiko, played by O'Hara Sakurako, had her whole life planned out. She was going to get married by 26, first child by 27, second child by 29, but now she's almost 30 and she's still single. In a random act of kindness, her younger colleague, Yuki-san, played by Matsuta Genta, proposes they get married if she's still single one day before her 30th birthday. This is almost a contract marriage trope, <laughs> question mark. Uh, they make a promise to get married. And then during that time before they get married is when the story takes place. I actually like the setup a lot because it's a bit of a twist to the contract marriage trope, which by the way, is one of my favorite tropes. I really like the contract marriage trope, if you haven't noticed. Is this particular show a must watch? Um. The correct answer is no, but if you want, you can definitely make this your next Sunday afternoon binge. It's one of those shows that you can relax, you can, you know, just chill on a lazy day, have a nice dose of love, you know, chill vibes, nothing, nothing too crazy with this one. If you're looking for more Japanese drama recommendations, I post recommendation videos every Friday, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're gonna talk about what I liked and didn't like about the show. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty of it, but beware there are spoilers that may ruin your viewing experience if you haven't seen this show already. All right, let's get into it. So the main character really resonated with me because I had my whole life planned out too when I was like 15 or something and life doesn't quite work that way. But I think a lot of women do this. It's like we have that fairy tale love story that we expect to become our realities. And I'm not sure if it's, you know, the media, if it's society, if it's our parents, like whatever it is, this is not an atypical story. So it really, it resonated with me. I liked that he realized he had feelings for her when he actually sat down to talk to her and not that he'd always been secretly in love with her, you know, from afar, just staring at her. And I think, you know, that storyline is fine if that were the case. But honestly, we've seen it a million times. So it's refreshing to see something different, something that's, you know, something a little with a little twist. Just like in Cherry Magic, which I also reviewed, the one guy was secretly in love with the other guy, but the magical twist made it way more interesting, right? And by the way, this is not a spoiler. That is in the description of that show, so I haven't ruined anything for you. Anyways, I think at this point, writers need to figure out how to breathe new air into these classic storylines that we all know and love. And I feel like this slight little detail definitely did that for me for this one. It made it way more interesting and I appreciated that. What I didn't like about the show, there was this whole inner dialogue that was like, oh my gosh, I can't stand to be without you for like half a second and all of that. And I totally get it. I get it. Like when we're first in love, we're enamored, you know, we, we just, we think that we can't live without that person and that's totally fine. But for this particular v drama, for this particular drama, that made it very, very predictable what was going to happen next. And that brings me to my next point, which is that in 2023, I wish, I really wish there was a different conflict. Like, I have seen this conflict so many times, the whole like, I'm getting a new position and now I have to leave. What are we going to do? And I get it. It has a simple story. So this really works. There's a formula and it works. But if there would have been something slightly different, it would have been more interesting. Like, I think they could have delved deeper into the fact that he was a younger, you know, colleague and maybe, you know, he was less experienced. Maybe he was rushing into things. She finally realized that love is not a race. She finally realized that love doesn't have a timeline. And I thought that was the overall, you know, theme of the story. So why didn't they lean into that a little bit more? Could have leaned 
into it, especially because of the fact that he was younger and it was specified in the series description. But after watching it, I felt like his age was just a fact and not actually a factor in the story. Final thoughts, like I said, this Japanese drama was enjoyable to watch and it wasn't like a gem or anything, but I wouldn't discourage you from watching it. You know, you should watch it if you want a relaxing, nice viewing experience. And that is gonna bring us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one.